Welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally going to show you how I made my concrete block lamp. So you're going to start with your concrete, mix the way the instructions tell you to mix it on the packet, something to scoop the concrete with, a box cutter, a pen, some gaffer tape, and some scissors are probably a good idea for this too, a small bottle for the inside mold, and a large container for the outside mold. You'll also want quite a thin light bulb, and then some sort of suspension lighting kit. These are so hard to find here, but IKEA has this light set. If you grab that, it has exactly what you need in it. Now the inner mold, this is where the light bulb will sit. So just so you have an idea, these are the measurements of the bottles that I was using. Uh, probably give this juice to someone else because it is so bad for you. There's so much sugar. But anyway, I needed the container because the shape suited my needs. First off, you're just going to cut off the sealed end of the bottle because the other end is actually going to be used to hold the light bulb in place. Just place some gaffer tape over there so that when you're pouring concrete, the concrete doesn't go inside this bottle because then it will fall straight out the bottom. We don't want that. Now I'm also going to take off the top end of the large juice container. These sorts of containers are good for using as a mold because they've got that waxy coating on the inside. Now just draw around the outside of the smaller bottle and use the gaffer tape to seal up the edges. If you're going to be making quite a few of these, I would say build a sturdier mold, but this is good if you're just making one, it doesn't have to last you too long and it is a very cheap alternative. As soon as the bottom is all sealed up, you're going to use your scalpel and cut out where you have traced the opening of the smaller bottle because we're going to thread the smaller bottle through. So the lid end of the smaller bottle is going to come out the bottom because like I was saying that's where the light bulb will be threaded through. I'm just going to use some more gaffer tape to hold it in place just in case pouring in the concrete moves it around a little. So now just start pouring in your concrete, you want to go up to almost as high as the small bottle. Don't cover it, leave just a little bit of room at the top where the small bottle finishes and then cut the tape down the middle where the small bottle is. Then leave it for three days. Once it's been left for three days, start to take off the tape, cut off the big outside mold. You might find a few flaky pieces of concrete, that's pretty normal. As long as you have left it for three or more days, it will be completely dry though. Now you're going to take your box cutter, scissors or even a sharp knife and you're going to put some small slits all around the opening of the inner bottle and then you're going to start to peel the plastic down and away from the concrete. Eventually you can use a knife to chop off the plastic down the bottom. We're still going to leave that very base in because see that light bulb fits perfectly. We're going to thread that through there. It's super simple, that's how easy it is. Leave me a comment letting me know if you're going to give it a go. I'd love to see what you create as well, so tag me on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.